In this video, I'll be showing you how to magnetize a piece of metal. This could be very useful for screwdrivers. In this video, I'll be using a Allen wrench. As you can see, it's not magnetized at the moment, but we're gonna change that. If I move this strong neodymium magnet near this piece of metal, it'll temporarily become a magnet. Okay, maybe not that close, but as you can see, it becomes a weak magnet when it's just near this strong magnet. Move it away, and the effect is gone. But we want to create a permanent magnet. So how do we do that? Well, to create a magnetic field, you'll need to have a moving charge. Whether it's the charge flowing through an electromagnet, or the charge in the electron orbitals of this permanent magnet. You see, in the permanent magnet, all the atomic orbitals are aligned in the same direction, which creates a strong magnetic field. Now in the Allen wrench, the orbitals are pointing in random directions, which sort of cancels out the magnetic field throughout the entire thing. What I'm going to do is align the orbitals like in a permanent magnet inside the Allen wrench. And to do that is pretty easy. All I need to do is expose this Allen wrench to a strong magnetic, magnetic field like this one here. And then we're going to beat it with a hammer. Now that I've done that, the element should be magnetized. Let's find out. Now if you want to try this yourself, this will only work at room temperature with four elements. That is nickel, cobalt, and iron, as well as gadolinium. Most of the time you're going to have iron, and uh, I doubt you're going to have too much of this laying around. Now that our Allen wrench is magnetized, we could actually demagnetize it again by hitting it with a hammer in absence of the magnetic field. By doing that, I was able to jiggle around the atoms enough to get it more looking like this, like it was before. And now the fields are canceled out. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing.